you want to talk a little bit about like kind of how you set up your team um, just internally? Hiring is very hard. Um, it's typically something that you need capital for, uh, like a, a significant capital. Um, it's not typically something where you can, you know, get away. And I, and I don't like the whole free, you know, internship type thing. I tried it, but that was sort of my realization of like, you get what you pay for. Um, so a, a lot of it was automation. So if I needed help with customer support, I found ways to automate it, whether it was AI or whether it was just like a different type of user interface. Um, another issue I ran into was like over scheduling. I had too many people changing deliveries, even when they were on their way. So it was just sort of fine tuning ways of like, get rid of the ability to do that or add in more flexibility to change or like updates, you know, there's ways to, to solve things <laughs> to speak pretty vague. Um, but there's, you know, people do tasks, people do actions. So the more ways you can automate that to reduce unnecessary positions, like a great example would be, um, do we need someone to, um, you know, call stores to check like the status of an order. We could, but we could also just have something automated that calls the store, asks a question, gets a response, and then prints that response. And if action is needed, then a person steps in. Um, so that was, you know, sort of one thing. Sales, you can always outsource. You can always outsource customer support. You can always outsource even marketing. You can outsource it. A lot of AI tools or even, you know, marketing firms will do it. Um, a lot of them will do it for pretty cheap if you're smaller because um, they want to grow with you. So it, it really depends on what you're looking for. If you want to outsource um, 